Alright, hey everybody, um, this is gonna be a quick look at what, um, Super House of the Dead Ninjas is like. I felt the best way to show it off is to just show you what the original game was. This is, um, House of the Dead Ninjas from, uh, Adult Swim. Yep, the Cartoon Network thing that exists. Um, I'm actually doing this using a joystick and X pattern, but uh, I'm just gonna go through this real quick so you can see what the game looks like, so you can see how far the project's come since its original conception. Um, the idea is that you're a ninja and you're alive, and there are other ninjas that are dead, and you have to get to the bottom of this tower before your time runs out. Um, it's kind of got a uh, before it's sort of out. It's got uh, all sorts of high score stuff going on, and like I mentioned, this is um, using a joystick, so you can get that program I mentioned from X Pattern, it's the website. Anyway, let's load up uh, Super House of the Dead Ninjas, which came out on Steam the other day. There you go. Uh, let me adjust this window. Hope it doesn't lag the video too much. That should work. Alright, so this one um, comes with the comic included. The comic, if you want to see what that looks like, it, uh, it's just a comic basically about the game, but if you read through it, it's kind of like the old video game manuals where, like if you look at the Super Mario Brothers 3 manual, it's got some neat pictures and some stuff going on that's not just directly telling you, like this is showing you how to do some of the different attacks that are in the game, and basically what you're going to be doing. Uh, that's neat, especially compared to like the EA and Ubisoft manuals nowadays. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the game. Oh, wait, one more thing. Before we go in there, it's got a couple of different options. Uh, there's interlacing, which is why the game looks sort of fuzzy right now. You can turn that on and off. You just leave it on because it's got more of an arcade vibe that way. You can turn the slowdown on and off and you change your keys. Sort of. It doesn't really support joysticks. So you can just it down at the bottom over there. Oops. I would like to have a right arrow. Okay. Here we go. Um, so, one of the big changes is that there's all of this crap here. Uh, apparently it reset my progress, but I don't know, I really don't care too much. I'd rather just play the game. Um, but you've got all these different items on here that you unlock from doing different games, or different things in the game. This entire first row is nothing but weapons, this is kind of like items that you get. And it shows you what you have to do to get those. Uh, there's also the upgrade screen up at the top over here. Which, you get different things that kind of reminds me of just different perks from like the Call of Duty games or whatever. And you have the other section to get all sorts of unlockables. Um, you got these clothing things that you can turn on and off. And there's also a little random button over in the left, this little present looking thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the game. You can see what this looks like. Uh, it's got difficulty now, so you can go for normal to hard, hard, I guess that's even like the true last levels or something, I don't know, but maybe that's not it. And there's also test level support over here, in case you want to make some, I don't know what this thing is. Let's go ahead and go in here. Alright, 
So this one starts up more like a spelunking, where you've got your tutorial going on, sort of in the background there, showing you all the different things you can do. Right off the bat, um, having to look at all that crap that you know in the comic. And it, it's got some instructions, that doesn't really matter if you do or not, it makes it a lot easier. And as you can see, the new one is downward slash, so it's a lot more useful. It's actually going to be using it now, so that would be right on top of it. I've also got these ghosts here, which give you like a couple of hits. Also, you've got more lives in this game, which is very amazing. Notice that there is a little bar going up in the corner. You can fill that bar from stringing together kills really quick, so it's sort of in which most of you are invisible, because that's what you do. You're angry, right? Uh, let's see if I can make it to the first boss. about the game is that if you check out the achievements, they are ridiculous and hard such as um, the same to a certain area without killing anybody or you finish a boss without taking damage or whatever. Stuff that uh, almost reminds me of the gold for you to set all the That's neat. It's nice to actually be rewarded for some of the stuff that I've missed. Straight up gameplay items. I'm not sure how leaderboard is appropriate right now. Um, it's supposed to be a game, but the last time I checked, uh, none of that stuff is really there. I'm on 4 to 80. Wait for this guy to do this thing. Oops, and I missed it. Um, I'm not sure why I haven't said it yet, but there's also a new name that he's using. Oh, I died. Anyway, the, uh, the name that he's they tend to be a little bit harder than the normal things. Not really sure if it's actually me. You start getting further down in the castle. You get one of these way to uh, start off on certain landmark levels. And the other thing is. That's pretty lame. Yep, there we go. First boss. Um, the game gets harder for the rest of the game. Sure. 
and uh, as soon as this playthrough is done, I'm oh. going to go ahead and just get the same part oh. what it looks like. So there's actually a difference, it's not just the oh. oh. same game with more levels or whatever. Well, for the most part of that, it is. It's just it's one small change that makes it a Alright, if you look in the bottom... Oh, never mind, it's gone. Uh, so I have the option to continue right now. If you continue, you can actually start from that same point. If you did this... going on here. Your body actually can fall down two different levels, so you can start there, which can be a good or bad thing, so go ahead and quit. There's game, game over screen. Since, over. Uh, you know, games don't have game overs anymore. Alright, so here's all of my stats. Um, I now have the ability to go to this visit lodge thing, and there's a graphical representation of how far I got inside right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the stuff that I just unlocked in the last playthrough. Um, generally, all these things stay here. I don't know why my stuff disappeared earlier, but you, as you can see, you've got some different weapons and you've got alternatives to those weapons. This is the regular katana. This one always beheads enemies. Uh, there's these things. Yeah. Right. And there's all this stuff. And let's see if I have... There we go stuff. Cool, cool, cool. And this, uh, if you look, this kind of keeps track of how many enemies you got to kill in order to unlock whatever series you want to get. Uh, some of the unlocks, one thing they might take you quite a while, but I guess, you know, if you really know the game, it wouldn't really matter anyway. So, let's go ahead and go to hard. Let's probably start from the top, and let's switch up the weapon, just so you can see what some of that stuff looks like, too. Let's go with the whip. I don't think I've ever used that before. Yes, and wind magic from the bowels. That sounds good. What else is in here? What else did I get? I don't think I don't understand how this stuff works in here. Um, oh. Maybe that's something just active anyway. We're gonna go ahead and start from the top. Uh, so it starts off the exact same. Uh, this is the only part that's really consistent across the entire game. Everything else that happens uh, tends to be random once you get past the little introduction section. If you haven't noticed, uh, this part of the game, the, thought of quitting. the entire thing is kind of the time is frozen in the corner, so it doesn't really matter. Also, when I just died, it doesn't matter either. Kind of a lesson. And 
there are moments of that too. Luckily, it's not a lot of times. It doesn't matter too much. That's what really sucks. Oh, that the dude's over here. The main reason you want to kill everybody is because you get more points. And this is the game's main way of just keeping track of how well you're doing. It's like all good old school games. Right? Everybody? Sure. Alright. Uh, oh, looks like the boss is doing pretty bad now. The game also has a tendency to be fun. Which is great. I don't know. I like it with my games. Not be the game is terrible. And it's since the game is so fast paced, it's kind of like it doesn't really matter too much. Bonus. Yeah, weapons. Yeah. Questionable. My score wasn't too high that time, but this is the biggest change is that once you die, well, that difficulty, uh, that's it. There is no continue. It's over. Game. Also, I can't tell if you get more points or not from doing that one. All that stuff shows up on, let's see, the screen right here. Your records. Let's see more stats. Number of deaths you have. Number of enemies you killed. How many times you died to those enemies. Let's go visit the lodge again just to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, I got a pistol? That's new. I don't want to check that out. Hmm. Switch the suits up. And let's try one more weapon. Um, do this one. I've never seen this pistol before, anyone knows it's in the game. And, uh, let's... Yeah, let's go with hard, and let's start on floor 250. I think puts you right after the boss, so you don't have to worry about that. This is not... Oh no, Michelangelo might be disappointed. Alright, tell Ouch. And why would you want to use this? Oh dear lord. No. Oh, I don't know what to about. I don't know what to
assist. That's kind of useful. I don't know. I don't really see too many enemies use that. Uh, my biggest issue in this game is normally the enemies that charge straight at you. Also, uh, the fact that I die quite a bit. I don't know if I can not die. Oh, yeah. So far, the guy seems to be a lot more useful. or other even arcade games. Um, it's up on Steam now. Definitely worth uh, giving a shout at the website if you want to check it out first. Uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, and toodles!